Welcome to KSM Adventures of an Arcane Mage here on Lord PD TV Plays. In this video series, we will be following PD as he tries to learn how to play Arcane Mage while getting Keystone Master. See all of our restrictive rules on Discord. Please note that throughout the video, non-boss combat is double speed. And if you have any questions or comments, please place them below. Please hit that follow button to see more content from Lord PDTV throughout the week. Keys were amazing this week, and that was mostly caused because of the Mythic Dungeon quest that everyone had, which means you had to complete four Mythic Dungeons. So we had a plethora of different keys, um, or I should say players to pick from, uh, but we kept our numbers close to what we were when we were going through. As saying that, we really did not have any problems getting into keys. We did one per day each day this week. We ran, it's got to be close to almost 40 keys on multiple different characters. It was, we had such a good time, the community and everything. Uh, please make sure you stop by and see us and, uh, you know, enjoy the uh, videos of all of our mage keys this week. So we walk into the first boss of Underant and, you know, it, it was not that bad. We ended up, you know, just popping all our cooldowns and just going crazy and uh it took me a couple of seconds to kind of get myself antiquated with you know how to dps and and do what, what i gotta do but you know i really really do feel that i had a greater understanding of what i needed to do when we started this boss than i did you know in the weeks past uh i ended up putting whatever i can do down and i just started like unleashing whatever i could do to 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 do damage you know putting the tempest down putting arcane surge putting all that stuff down the, the thing that kind of screwed me up a little bit was my arcane surge was actually uh, a little off on the timer so i didn't get the full burst that i wanted to do uh when i did this but i will tell you this the the warrior and the druid they were pumping so uh, that really was helpful in that first boss fight just a reminder Lord PD TV can be used at Rogue Energy Drink to have a discount to support the channel. Links in the description. Are you going to uh, come on, uh, on Friday? That's fine. You don't need to even have it that high for us either. Yeah, if you look at the Discord post, I think it's like four, I think it's 418-ish, is how I word it. We should be okay. And if it's a problem and like your damage is really lackluster in comparison to the others, I, I mean, I'll just go, hey, can you please go back to the other one so we can actually get the stuff down? Did we get, we didn't get Sark down the first week you were with us, right? I tried to get one of these keys done. Just trying to do them all on Monday is just painful. So as for Kragmaw, you know, what I like to call the worst boss fight in this whole entire dungeon, uh, we all kind of just uh, laid into him as much as we possibly could. I ended up getting my cooldowns properly done, and I kind of laid into him. I'm not going to lie, I kind of uh, was a little bit of a scumbag and, and did not pick up nearly as many uh, of the ticks as I wanted to. But I got, you know, what I needed to get done, and I just kind of pushed in on him to see if I could put some damage. And as you can see, I, I did so. Uh, it wasn't that much in comparison to everybody else, but it was enough to uh, to do a substantial damage. Because there is a, a deal of movement here, and there's also a deal of downtime, because you're essentially going to have to, you know, run after him when he ends up going for the ticks. 
So I tried to make sure I put the dots up on him. I tried to make sure I put a couple of hits up on him as he was running. I used arcane missiles while we were moving there. But for the most part, I really didn't try to get much of the ticks just because I wanted to make sure we, I put damage up on the boss. Uh, uh, and, you know, we got him down. It was just one of those uh, situations for the, the boss. I just kind of tried to focus on as much as I could. I do damage when the arcane gods wish it. So with Sporecrawler, we kind of had a little bit of a situation where I'm pretty sure we did not have enough of the of the the you know the funguses grabbed for that first uh, festering harvest, and I ended up dying if I recall. But all in all, I kind of tried to put as much damage in the boss as I could, like I normally do at the start of the fight. Uh, we ended up doing that and seeing uh, what we could do. And, uh, you know, I tried to use my, you know, my mage, uh, my mage armor and putting mage armor on the rest of the group. But, you know, it, we really, really had a definite problem with what this fight was. And, uh, you know, like I said, we ended up having, you know, issues with it. So we, we ended up getting the, the festering harvest is coming. And so, yeah, I grabbed the, uh, you know, a couple of those things and I just ended up just plopping over in a couple of seconds. But yeah, it was, uh, it was a good fight. We got it down, uh, and then on to the last boss. I took too many dots. That was my fault. Those two harvests are gonna go off. got it i mean i guess they don't need it have you seen lord pd tv wearing these amazing gamer glasses these glasses are from sub 2r if you go to the description and you click on their link and if you want to purchase them use lord pd tv at checkout 10% off. Like, even us getting to Echo, we're getting the majority of the stuff. Are you?
just want to get nervous about this pull like this. I feel like this pull is vastly slower than normal pull. Gremlin, what keys are you looking for, though? I forgot to ask. Tens, we can do some. Did you need um Thorn of Infinites? What? Bro. I wonder if we can get a healer and do Thorn of Infinites. Easily, I can do it or Dan can do it. Looking to support the channel? Go to teespring.com, click on the link in the description, and go ahead and take a look at that really, really nice merchandise. Pick it up to help support the channel. In my personal opinion, this last box, but this last boss in this dungeon is pretty much a joke as long as you can follow the tank. So what we end up doing here is we end up popping everything, we end up laying into them, and we end up trying to get as much damage as possible on them. I tried to do that while doing a little bit of movement, which is definitely difficult as, you know, being the arcane mage I am. But I did lay into them pretty nice, and I got, you know, close to 100k from what I remember. Because I ended up realizing, you know, if I end up doing certain abilities at a certain time with the haste I got, it kind of worked out really, really well. And I used my arcane orbs to try to burn as much of the uh, rotting spores that popped up behind them. I don't remember if those ended up giving me points, but I will say this. I really did push for as hard as I possibly could to get this guy down. And, uh, you know, we got him down, and it was great. It was a good key. It wasn't too bad. Um, everybody knew what they were doing. My overall DPS wasn't great, but we ended up getting, uh, you know, we ended up getting them down, and the others kind of took care of that uh, during a lot of the boss, a uh, lot of the boss fights, and uh, regular pulls throughout the dungeon. I need one more. Back on the right notion. Uh, I just want to say thanks again, everybody, for checking out our videos, and we're going to be putting out as many of them throughout the whole entire week. Uh, at least four dungeons are going to be mages. Uh, I should say four videos are going to be of the mage each week. And to them, we'll have, you know, our regular uh, affix videos. And we're going to have other videos, too, every single week. So thank you very much for hanging out. I greatly appreciate you all for spending the time here. And I will see you all soon. Thank you, and I hope to see you all soon in chat. Bye, everybody.